Hey everyone, this is the video companion guide to the write-up I put on Reddit um, on how to set up your Nectar Pacer and your RC505 MK2. So, very quickly, the first row here, the 1 to 5, these are your switches that correspond to your 5 switches here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. On the top, the only things you have to care about are these switches here. When you use the guide, you'll notice that you're setting these switches. So if I hit this switch, this is my record switch. All of these buttons here become record buttons. So if I click this, my RC505 will start recording. So notice how it's starting to record there. So if I want to record them two, for example, I hit this. And now my slot two is recording. I'm going to hit three. My slot three wants to record. Slot 4 wants to record, and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to stop everything right now. And the program stop button's on the, this one. You'll notice the top over here when I hit a button, all it's doing is sending a MIDI signal. So when I don't touch anything, it's not sending anything. When I touch it, it's sending a 127 value. That's just telling the RC505 to, to do something with it. Um, other than that, this button will tell all your tracks to stop. So right now track 1's playing, I'm going to hit button 1, and then track 1 stops playing. So that's your Nectar Pacer setup. That's what you're trying to accomplish. Alright, over on the Pacer editor, first thing you got to do is make sure your MIDI inputs are Pacer 1 to Pacer 2. Before I had something like this, and the send to pacer wasn't working. I realized that I wasn't sending back to my pacer. So make sure this is pacer one to pacer one. Once that's done, you want to go to import export tab. So it starts over at overview. Head over to your import export. Go to your load import from file. Import your .sys file that you found on the write-up. And when you do that, you'll start to see things like this. All you're really looking at is your program, which is, we call it record, and all the presets that are in this .sys file. The things that are different in this file are the A1, A2, A3, the three buttons you saw in the last part of the video. Record, play, and undo. That's what we're trying to do. To give you a bit more understanding of what's actually happening, if we go to overview. These, this, this is, this overview describes the entire board. If you think of F, FS1 to FS4, these are the outputs at the back of your pacer. EXP1 to 2 are your expression pedals that can be connected to the back of your pedal. Ignore these if, you don't, if you're not setting them up. What you care about is those first three buttons I was using to play, stop, and undo. All these are doing is telling the pacer to switch programs whenever you click them. The cool thing here, when you learn how to read this, is one to five rows here, or one to six, those correspond to my actual buttons. One to six on the bottom row. And all it's doing is it's, sent, it's telling it to send a MIDI signal of 127 when I push the button down, and to send a signal of zero when I push the MIDI button up, or when I take my foot off. Okay, That's so the it. final part of this guide is setting up the RC505. In the last part of the video, we showed you how to send the appropriate signal from the pacer to the, to the RC505. So now we have to show the RC505 what to do with that signal. So if I go to menu, so let's start at the beginning. If I go to menu, click over to assign. These will be off for you, but I want to go to assign one. And notice that my source is set to MIDI 01 or MIDI CC1. It normally starts over here, track one. So what you're basically saying is when you get a message from MIDI number one, this is gonna be a toggle switch to go on and off. And then you wanna set what to do with it. So when you get a signal from MIDI one, what are you gonna do with track one? Here we're telling it that you're gonna record and play. So to make this more of an example, let's go to assign two. I've said in assign two, you'll notice that we're taking a MIDI signal from number two, 
and then we're telling it to do on track two, when you get that signal, record play on track two. So this is track one, track two, track three, track three, three four, five. If you follow the guide, you'll see how we suggest you to set it up. Um, and basically, you just gotta go through all of these and set them up like the guide says. The one thing you have to do to remember, which is really annoying, is you wanna save everything to memory after you finish this. So write to your memory to save the settings. Um, and I think the last thing that was really annoying was just make sure these are all on after you're done setting up. If you get everything done and you follow the guide, you should have your MC505 set up. If you got value out of this video, uh, hit me up with a like. And that's about it.